Personal items are the bane of my existence and as someone who flies almost always Spirit and Frontier and really just budget airlines and does not want to pay $60 for a luggage, I fly with personal items a lot. But Frontier and Spirit have not been nice to people recently. Like BFFR, sis. People's bags literally fit in the little container thingy and they're still charging them. And I will not be charged. So I've got three options at three different price points including the viral Amazon bag from TikTok, and we're gonna try them all. Now just for reference, these are all the things that are going to be going in there. We have two compression cubes. I always pack in compression cubes, it's how I make it easier. I'll be doing a video on how I pack my bag later, but inside of here is enough clothes for five days, and this is all my underwear and accessories. We have a travel blanket. Inside this little container is all the jewelry that I would need for a week. Now typically when I travel, I do not travel light because I'm normally going somewhere fancy or on a business trip. I have this pouch as well, and in here I normally put my chargers and everything else as well as travel perfume and some hair ties and other essentials. Inside of this pouch, I have my medicine, small amounts of makeup, and my cleansers, and travel hand sanitizer. We're gonna try and fit a water bottle in some of these, a laptop, a little side bag or clutch, and an extra pair of shoes. This is typically what I like to pack. Sometimes it doesn't always fit and I have to drop things off, so let's see how many actually work out. Now the first bag we have is from TikTok. If you guys saw it, I had a haul recently where this was, I think, $13. And it has a little shoe compartment at the bottom, this front pocket, one large inside pocket, and straps on the side. This does fit the dimensions for both Spirit and Frontier. So let's fill it up. Now this bag was supposed to be a dupe for the Amazon bag that we'll be showing you guys later. And almost everything fit into it fairly nicely. But because I did fill it up with my clothes and everything else, I was unable to put the shoes into it. So no extra pair of shoes. And worst of all, fitting all my clothes, my toiletries and everything else, I couldn't fit the laptop. But a great thing about this bag is not only is it a backpack, it's also a duffel. And this is actually the one that I use right now. Now the next bag is the London Fog Underseat Carrier. Now London Fog is the higher price point. I unfortunately, sorry, I fortunately got this at TJ Maxx instead of actual London Fog and I got it for about 80 bucks. Um, it was a last minute purchase and I could not find a luggage anywhere. Now this is literally perfect to the dimensions. You can find other people where they actually slide it in and it is great. However, it doesn't have that much space. It does have two pockets on either side. This is a big front pocket here. And when you open it up, sorry, there's some makeup from my last trip. Um, there's a bunch on the front, a big one here, and there's a little flap on the inside for your laptop. Let's fill it up. Now for this bag, I was able to get everything into the main compartment except for my shoes, which I didn't really expect. Um, and of course in the front I can put a few flat things like my wallet <laughs> and probably my passport and my boarding pass and typically that is how I traveled with this in the first place. I would zip it up but it does zip up. I just want to show you guys how exactly I stuffed everything in here. I will say typically this bag is meant for people who aren't traveling with just a personal item. It is part of a set and though it fits perfectly and I had zero issue riding on Frontier and Spirit with it, it's not the best bang for your buck. And as someone who likes a good deal, it's not exactly great. But it is lightweight and if you get it at a good price point, this works. But I wouldn't use it for more than a weekend. Now time for our last bag. Now, it is pink instead of blue or black as I would like it because it's my little sister's, but we are still gonna fill it with the same stuff and I'm probably gonna buy my own if this works out well. Now, if you guys have not seen this bag anywhere, it is a Hail Mary. Now, as you can see from the back, it is a backpack. It has a side strap that you can kind of connect your things together, but you can also adjust it. It has the little strap for you to slide onto your luggage. I think that's what it is, I don't know. And then it has this little back pocket, which is fully cushioned, and I would put probably my boarding pass and passport in here, because it's actually really nicely lined. And of course, it keeps everything safe. But then we have three main pockets. Now this very back one is actually meant for your laptop. So you open it up. It doesn't open fully on the sides, but it's just a normal slide in. So we're just gonna go ahead and slide that in. As you can see, my laptop fits fairly easily. So if you have something bigger than mine, um, you'll be fine. On one side we have an adjustable drink carrier and by that I mean that right here 
It has a little stretch, so it goes for bigger and smaller compart compartments, water bottles. But the other side doesn't have that. It actually has a USB charger. Because if you open this middle pocket, which is your biggest pocket, after you unlatch the sides, of course, you have basically a luggage. Now this one also has a shoe compartment at the bottom like the other one, which has little vent holes. So before we even pack anything else, because I wasn't able to get my shoes in the other one at all, I'm just gonna put my shoes into the bottom of this. And you just slide them in. Zip it up. And then they kind of show in this middle flap in the main pocket. Lifting the flap up and into this pocket, you see there is another one. Now here I could probably put a iPad or even another laptop if I really wanted. But we're gonna put it in my purse. And then on top of that, our compression cubes. Now if I was putting in any type of charger for the USB on the outside, I would probably place the power bank right here, as it should be, because the wire right here. Now on this side, you see they have a bunch more pockets, and of course we have all my little bags. So we're gonna go ahead and take these and put them in the right places. Now you're probably like, this is not gonna close. Yes, it will. Quite easily, actually. I feel like I could have stuffed this a little bit more, but even though I could, I probably wouldn't. Now, there's still one more pocket in the very front. This is for wet clothes, or wet things in general. Um, I'm not really gonna put anything in here because I don't have anything to put in here. I mean, we've already packed most of our stuff, so it's gonna stay empty for now. I will, however, take this front pocket and I'm going to put in my hand sanitizer and my travel blanket. Or not. My travel blanket doesn't fit. And in the very front here, we're just gonna put the last of my bags, which is my jewelry and my skincare, which you can't see, but they're right in here. So my travel blanket didn't fit, but I could probably fit it in here just because there is still some space. Now this is fully packed and ready to go. All I have to do, not be stupid. Oh, grab the water bottle. Now, after putting on all these little side straps, you just kind of pull them tight. I'm not going to pull them tight just because I'm not actually going anywhere and I didn't like fully stuff this to the point where I have to. But if I did, I would. Either way, this, it worked out. Looks like I'm buying one for myself. I'm going to end up showing you guys my actual individual little baggies that I carry just because I think the way that I pack helps a lot of the amount that I can pack. So watch out for that. But at the end of the day, if you are flying Spirit or Frontier, remember, it's not easy. Do your due diligence. Make sure everything fits. Don't just think you're going to get lucky because honestly, these days, none of us are lucky. But most importantly of all, do your own research and remember that I am not a professional. I'm just the middle child.